name is Professor Suzanne McDonough and I'm delighted to welcome you as the Head of School of RCSI Physiotherapy to the Undergraduate Open Day. So just as a little bit of background to the school, we were established just over 22 years ago and we have 128 full-time undergraduate students and that's supported by a team of seven on campus um, who provide teaching, practice and admin support. And then we have a well-established affiliated hospital network of eight clinical tutors who are supported by uh, clinical educators who are physiotherapists working on the ground in our clinical sites. And we offer a BSE uh, Honours Physiotherapy Programme as well as uh, master's and PhD research opportunities. So in terms of our physiotherapy undergraduate program, uh, for those coming in as school leavers, it's a four year program. Whereas if you have already uh, completed a degree and are a graduate, then you would come in and do the three years of the program. Um, and our program is accredited by CORU, which regulates um, health and social care professions in Ireland and also recognised by the Irish Society of Chartered Physiotherapists. So why do physiotherapy? So physiotherapists work um, across the age span, so from paediatrics to older age, and they're working with people whose movements may be reduced or undermined by either ageing, disease, um, envir environmental factors or sporting injuries. And physiotherapists are very much part of the um, interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary healthcare team. And they work across all sectors of healthcare. And in the picture you can see here in the slide, this is um, uh, students practicing with a mannequin, their respiratory uh, skills. So that's one of the, the key areas that we teach our students. Um, um, as part of our program. And obviously, once you're qualified, then you can uh, decide what area you want to specialize in. So in terms of our course outline, in the first two years, it's really where you receive the solid foundation in your anatomy, uh, your physiology uh, and other basic sciences and the fundamentals of physiotherapy practice. And then in the subsequent two years, so uh, year three and year four, um, it's where you start to have more focus on clinical areas. So in year three, there's three core areas that you're focusing on. So cardiovascular, respiratory, neurology, and, and musculoskeletal. And then in year four, you are um, starting to work with a more diverse and complex range of uh, client groups. And you're also getting a chance to really hone and develop your research skills and develop your leadership skills. So a huge part of our program um, is the amount of time that you spend uh, in practice. So in total, you will uh, do 30 weeks um, of uh, uh, practice um, where you will get to encounter a, a wide range of high quality clinical placements and gain uh, essential clinical experience uh, under the supervision of experienced tutors and senior physiotherapy clinicians. And by the end of your degree, you will have a complete, completed over a thousand hours of clinical training. So just to sum up, our physiotherapy program um, the, is, um, there is a, a focus on small group teaching and in addition to one-to-one -one support from academic mentors. There is great opportunities for interprofessional education with the medical and pharmacy students within RCSI. And we also have access to the most advanced simulation uh, facilities in Europe where there was an 80 million euro investment. And I'll touch on that um, in a couple of slides. Um, and you'll obviously get the chance to complete your 1000 hours of clinical site training, which is really important, obviously, in order to become a registered physiotherapist on qualification. Um, with respect to accommodation, if we place you in clinical sites outside of um, the Dublin area, we will cover your accommodation or travel and this will be arranged within RCSI. Um, and you also get an opportunity to um, uh, take part in the research summer school and volunteering opportunities, which are really popular amongst our students. 
So in terms of the facilities then within RCSI, we have two uh, practical spaces um, on our campus in St. Stephen's Green, where the physiotherapy program is located, um, and a range of specialized equipment. And we've recently refurbished our physiotherapy practical room, uh, which has now has got uh, cameras which integrate with our uh, teaching um, online um, environment. And what this has um, allowed us to do is for staff to pre-record demonstrations of practical skills so that you can actually view them before you come into the practical classes, but it also allows us to live stream practical classes. And this was particularly useful during COVID where students maybe needed to, to self-isolate self um, uh, and stay off site. In addition, we have a specialized 3D movement analysis system um, where the students will get experience of uh, how to measure a human movement in a lab setting. And this is led by one of the teaching team, uh, Dr. Eilish Malone. So I've already mentioned the simulated learning facilities within RCSI, which are uh, the largest and most advanced uh, multidisciplinary clinical training center in Europe. And our students uh, get the opportunity to learn um, ICU skills in, in our high uh, fidelity simulation facilities. And you can see a, a picture here of Miro, who's one of the sim team, who is uh, playing the role of the mannequin who's then interacting with the students in real time as they practice their ICU skills. There's, uh, we also use simulation for practice of communication skills. And we have uh, started in the last couple of years to use simulation um, simulation as part of our clinical placement training. And I'll talk to you about that in the next couple of slides. So this year we carried out a week of uh, simulated placement in advance to stu of students going out um, onto uh, hospital sites. Um, and this just gives you an overview of what happened during that week. So we use uh, simulated patients who are trained to role play and uh, are able to interact with the students. Um, and these um, interactions are video recorded and then the staff are able to debrief with the students and it's a really uh, good way, uh, controlled way for students to learn and we are able to focus then on each of the clinical specialties within that simulated training week. And this just gives you a, a timetable of what the simulated simulation placement looks like. So you can see the plan from Monday to Friday um, and it certainly built up the students' confidence and the feedback we've got from the clinical sites is that this made a significant difference to the students' uh, ability and readiness to practice and learn um, in on the clinical sites um, following this week. So in terms then of education and excellence, um, I've already mentioned we've got the small class sizes. We have a really supportive uh, learning environment for students. Um, and we have um, really excellent uh, clinical placement support. So the students are either working in groups with experienced clinical tutors or having uh, one to one or two to one interactions with senior physiotherapists. Our staff uh, are excellent uh, in terms of their teaching as evidenced by university teaching awards. And all of our teaching is underpinned by research activity. So we have uh, um, the majority of staff are research active and they feed that research activity back, back into the teaching that we do. And we also received funding recently um, and are leading uh, the developments of simulated learning within the our Irish setting. So in terms of physiotherapy careers, our graduates are based uh, both in Ireland and all across the world and working across a range of different practice settings. And we obviously uh, have a range of postgraduate opportunities. So once you uh, complete your degree with us, we'd be delighted if you came back either to do CPD, uh, um, complete CPD opportunities or complete uh, a diploma, a master's, or maybe even come back and do your PhD with us. So here's uh, just an overview of some of our graduates who've gone uh, to work across a range of different settings. So. Uh, either in practice uh, with, uh, for example, Stephen worked with Riverdance, Danielle went on to work with Canadian Rugby Union, 
Uh, Avril Copeland went on to set up her own com company. And Ashling Brennan is a musculoskeletal clinical specialist in one of the local hospitals in Dublin. So it just gives you a range, uh, gives you an idea of the range of opportunities once you graduate. And we've even, even had uh, some weddings. So these are uh, two of our uh, uh, alumni uh, on their wedding day. In terms of the opportunities to meet our students, we will have a live panel discussion um, uh, uh, during the session today. And you get a chance to chat to students via the RCSI website. So thanks very much for your attention and uh, we look forward to hearing from you um, and hopefully welcoming some of you onto our programme. Hello. I'm Dr. Ben Ryan, and with my colleagues in the School of Pharmacy and Biomolecular Sciences, we are excited to be launching a new and innovative undergraduate degree, the BSc in Advanced Therapeutic Technologies, commencing in September 2022. The ever-changing healthcare landscape has seen a major shift as it fuses digital technology with traditional science, leading to an increased emphasis on therapeutic technologies. Designed from a future-focused perspective, Students completing the BSc in Advanced Therapeutic Technologies will experience an immersive and transformative educational journey using the latest advances in education delivery. The programme is specifically designed to ensure that graduates can apply the knowledge and skills they will have gained to design, create and implement innovative solutions to complex healthcare problems. The curriculum draws upon cutting-edge developments across scientific disciplines, including genetics and genomics, computational biology, data analytics, drug delivery, pharmacology, immunology, and connected health. In addition, the curriculum also includes key industry-relevant modules, including project management, leadership, enterprise and innovation, and regulatory science, ensuring that graduates are well-placed to succeed in their future careers. The BSc in Advanced Therapeutic Technologies will enhance graduate employability by providing and developing the skills and transversal competencies that employers have identified as critical to succeeding in the workplace and is lacking in many current graduates. The programme has been designed to ensure workplace readiness, with an eight-month work placement occurring in Year 3 within or outside Ireland as a core element of the degree programme. This placement gives students a systematic understanding and critical awareness of key emerging therapeutic technologies, the opportunity to further develop their transversal competencies and establish a professional network. Upon completion of the four-year programme, students will be awarded an NFQ Level 8 BSc Honours degree in Advanced Therapeutic Technologies. Graduates of the programme will be able to apply extensive scientific knowledge and technical skills in concert with highly developed transversal competencies to address the current and future skills needs of the bio, pharmaceutical and related industries. Graduates are in a position to apply for roles in the pharmaceutical industry, regulatory affairs, medical writing and communications, clinical trials, patient advocacy, scientific research, other careers requiring primary degrees such as management consultancy and the diplomatic service. On completion of this undergraduate programme, interested graduates can apply for the Masters in Technology and Analytics in Precision Medicine at RCSI, or degrees by research, MSc or PhD. We look forward to working with you all on this innovative BSc programme so that you can make a positive impact in the area of advanced therapeutic technologies within the healthcare and biopharmaceutical sectors and other careers.